Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about this complex circuitry. Okay, we are going to understand 18 volt cutoff circuit design. Okay, so one of my viewer asked me to design the 18 volt cutoff circuit. Okay, so I have designed this circuit 18 volt cutoff circuit and I will explain you how this circuit works how will you choose the component how will you calculate the values here how will you calculate do the mathematical calculation how will you analyze this circuit and later I'll run the simulation in LT spice and I'll show you how input voltage and how the output voltage looks like okay so let us understand first the design specification for 18 volt cutoff so so the design specification is whenever whenever input voltage is less than 18 volt right whenever input voltage is less than 18 volt your output voltage should be zero so you can see here v in whenever v in is less than 18 volt you you can see here v out your v out should be zero okay and whenever it your input voltage is greater than 18 volt greater than r equal to right and less than r equal to 30 volt your output should be v in okay so there is a two condition here when when your input input voltage is less than or equal to 18 volt v out equals to zero when your input voltage is greater than or equal to 18 volt and less than or equal to 30 volt your v out equals to v in so this is the objective this is the objective we are going to achieve today we uh, we are going to understand how we will achieve this objective and how will you design the circuit to meet this objective okay let us say you are using the battery as an input source or you you are using any other dc source and you want your circuit to be cut off whenever your input voltage is is 18 volt okay so whenever your input voltage in 18 volt or less than 18 volt there should be no output so v out is zero and whenever your input voltage is greater than 18 volt but less than 30 volt your output should be v out equals to v in so let us understand now this complex circuit okay so it's look like a very complex circuit but it's very easy to understand let me explain very quickly okay so you can see here this is 18 volt and now you can see here i have given the net name here for input signal this is v in and let me show you how 18 volt ramp up so i have given here the dc parameter sweep so you can right click on this and you can see here dc sweep so the name of first source is v1 type of switch is linear start value 5 volt so i consider the start value is like 5 volt and stop value is 30 volt with the increment of 50 volt so this is all about your your input signal now let us understand about this open so this is lt1495 open and it has very low quotient current okay and it has also very wide input range let me say you it it has very wide input range from 2.5 volt to 36 volt so so that is why i have given here the input voltage is 5 volt to 30 volt and this op amp i have used here as a comparator it's a notch amplifier it is a comparator i will explain first how this circuit works okay so you can see here in the negative terminal of your op amp i have connected here the reference signal so you can see here r2 you can see this this u3 and you can see here r1 so this u3 is lt13895 it's a 5 volt reference ic okay it's a 5 volt shunt reference ic which gives you high accurate high accurate and stable stable output okay and you can see here here is r1 is 150 ohm so you can see r2 2 mega ohm then 
we have u3 lt1389 then we have r1 okay so let me explain you what is the voltage across this b node you can see guys this is the node b and let me explain you what is the voltage at this b node or what is the voltage at i n minus okay minus terminal of your comparator so the voltage across this vb node is equal to the voltage across this u3 plus the voltage drop across r1 so vb equals to vu3 plus vr1 so vb equals to vu3 that is 5 volt plus voltage drop across r1 so you will get here vb and since since we have now a stable difference here vb and we we are varying the you can see this is the stable point stable point this is the reference point of your operational amplifier and you can see here i am varying my input voltage by using this voltage divider okay this resistive divider okay so whenever you let us say your input is voltage is 5 volt you can calculate the voltage across this va the voltage across this va is given by 5 volt into VA into R4 divide by R3 plus R4 and whenever your input voltage is 30 volt you can also see the voltage across A node is VA equals to 30 volt multiply by 1 mega ohm divided by 1 mega ohm plus 2.0 mega ohm that is how you can see when your input voltage is 5 volt you have less at V less voltage at VA node and whenever your input voltage is 30 volt you have higher higher voltage at this vv node so since your your voltage at vv node is fixed and your voltage at va node is varying so that means you are switching the comparator at this point so i have decided the value of this r3 and r4 based on whenever my input voltage is 18 volt 18 volt it, sh it should cross the voltage across this vv node okay so so our specification is what whenever the input voltage is 18 volt the output should be zero and as as soon as it exceed from 18 volt to let's say 19 volt or 18.5 volt your output should be your output should be high so that is how i have designed this comparator this r6 is for the hysteresis to maintain the hysteresis this comparator is used as a smith figure and you can see i have the i have used one register to drive this transistor this npn transistor bc547 okay so the output of this comparator is either high either high or low if i say high it would be equal to v in if i say low it would be equals to zero volt okay and whenever the, the comparator switches high your this transistor q1 turns on and whenever your transistor q1 turns on your tran your mosfet m1 will also turn on and you will see the output at v out right so guys hope you understood how how this circuit has been designed okay this sir mainly i have used one comparator one comparator and this transistor to this transistor the output of the this comparator will drive the transistor q1 and once q1 in uh, q1 is on your this is p channel mosfet your p channel mosfet will switch on so let me explain you one more important thing which you might miss in your design so you can see i have selected two resistance that is r5 and r9 guys this is very important to understand you guys why i have chosen here two register r5 and r9 okay so the reason behind it i don't want to if you don't use this register here r5 and r9 okay if you don't use r5 your whatever your you can see and if you don't use this this q1 so you can also directly drive directly drive your mosfet by using the output of this operational amplifier okay so let us say if you are using if you, you your input voltage is up to 10 volt you can directly drive your mosfet mosfet with the help of this comparator output but since in this case our out input is up to 30 volt that is why i used these two resistance additional resistance and one one this this 
that transistor and pn transistor so i wanted to fix gate to source voltage of this mosfet let us say the for fds 4685 the maximum gate gate to source voltage is plus minus 20 volt okay so you cannot you cannot give the gate to source voltage higher than the rated voltage but usually in design we we drive the mosfet by using 10 volt so i tried to fix i tried to fix the the voltage of gate to source to 10 volt so that is why i you can see here r5 is 10 at this is 20 so this is this is 1 by 2 so let's say 30 volt so so let's say your input is 30 volt so 10 volt will appear across r5 and 20 volt will appear across r9 so that is how you you are you are fixing your gate to source voltage of mosfet and uh, there is no damage in your mosfet your mosfet will always working safe operating area okay now let me quickly run the simulation and show you the waveform guys okay so let me run the simulation and show you the waveform right away let me first tell you the input signal okay so this is your input signal you can see your input signal start from 5 volt and it goes to it goes to 30 volt with the step of 50 millivolt okay let me show you the output signal so first let me show you the input then output and i'll explain how your signal is behaving then later i'll show you how this comparator work and how this transistor works okay so let me show you the output right all right so you can see you can see your input input is v in and your output is v out okay so let me change the color for v out maybe in red color so you can better understand so your input is v in and your output is v out and you can see what was the, our requirement you can see this is the point of 18 volt guys can you see guys this is the point of 18 volt okay so 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 this is the point of 18 volt so you can see here this is the this is your input voltage which is ramping from 5 volt to 30 volt v in in blue color and v out in red color so this is the point of guys this is the point of 18 volt okay so you can see your input voltage here this blue one is whenever it is 18 volt or less than 18 volt your output voltage is zero can you see guys please pay attention here so whenever your input voltage is 18 volt your output voltage is zero as soon as your input voltage exceeds the 18 volt and it goes to up to 30 volt here you can see the your output follow the input that means your output equals to input and that is what we wanted to understand i we wanted to understand how will we design the circuit which caters this requirement okay so that is what we wanted to understand so hope guys you understood how how your input looks like input signal looks like and how your output signal looks like okay okay so whenever your input voltage is less than 18 volt your output is zero and whenever your input voltage is greater than 18 volt but but less than but less than 30 volt your output follow your input okay now let me quickly run the run the uh, waveform how this comparator works so let me show you the voltage at this reference pin so you can see the voltage at this reference pin is something like it, it is it is here you can see the maximum voltage we can see is 7.12 and this at this transition region you can see 5.8 and let me show you the output voltage at this point this is what non inverting terminal and you can see you can see this is your input okay this is your input let me change the color of input so your red is input here your blue your red is uh the voltage at this inverting terminal and the blue is the voltage at non inverting terminal and you can see the op amp output now okay you can see the op amp out okay you can see the op amp out so you can see whenever your minus voltage that means red line 
is higher than your blue line okay whenever your red line is higher than your blue line that means voltage at inverting terminal is higher than the voltage at non inverting terminal your output is zero and as soon as your voltage at in inverting terminal is less than the voltage at non inverting terminal you can see here the transition and your output voltage is equal to the input voltage and that is how this comparator works okay so hope guys how hope guys you have understood how will you design and simulate the circuit for 18 volt cutoff circuit if you have any further question i am open to answer in the comment section